All right, so in the house here, we're still running these, this uh, older media PC. It's an AMD dual core, a couple gigs of RAM. Um, basically, the connection I have right now is just a DVI, uh, but I do have a couple HDMI cords that ran in the wall, which later on I'm going to uh, put some ports in there and stuff, so some, some outlets and some jacks. But, uh, Still, it's really nothing special. It's just got a capture card in the back that in, that antenna plugs into off a splitter. All right, so this is the default uh, Windows Media Player that comes up when I turn that machine on. So all I got to do, or someone has to do, is turn it on, and uh, it'll automatically log in and bring up Windows Media Player. Now, here's the HP remote that we use currently. Um, this is what came with that computer and it works great. There's a little RF USB radio frequency receiver. I don't know. But anyway, that, that just plugs in the USB and it just sits out there and looks pretty. Um, since we've set this up, we've also added this IO Gear um, 2.4 gigahertz multimedia keyboard. And um, I love this thing. It's got a trackball on it. If you turn it on Little, there's an on and off switch on the back so you don't feel the batteries. You got a trackball right here. You got a left click, a right click. You got a scroll wheel. Plus, you got a click on the scroll wheel just like a regular mouse. You got play and pause buttons. I, I've never used those really. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty decent keyboard. It's kind of nice to have. So if you're you know, browsing the, the internet or something. A couple key points. I set up my libraries like my pictures and videos and then the movies library. And the music library, so I have a network share that has all that stuff. So if we go in there, we can access that. I'm not going to do that now, but um, like before, you got recorded TV. So you know, right now I'm just recording The Office just to have something to watch if they were on board and they want to watch The Office. Um, that gets I have that being stored on this computer here. I don't need it saved to the network for any reason, but. Uh, I guess a couple key points I want to point out is what we have been watching lately is on Netflix. We'll go in here, and there's a ton of movies and shows. You all know about Netflix, but um, like we'll watch this show, Psych. It's, it's a pretty big series. We just go to the episodes, and you know you can see all these episodes here. But there's a ton of them, so we've been just kind of watching one or two shows a night um, as time permits. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, for instance, like when we're working on the house or something, we like to play, I like to play Pandora, I think we all do. And I do that through Boxy. So it temporarily switches over to Boxy. I go to music and it's in my app library here. So here's Pandora and you can see there's other stuff. You can access Netflix through here as well. But um, you know, I'll jump into Pandora real quick and it, it's already logged me on to my Pandora account for this one. And we'll just I'll just turn the TV off and listen to music while I'm working on the house or whatever. So let's go ahead and exit out of Boxy and let's get back into this. Now Shannon, did you want to talk about or show anything here as far as what you enjoy doing with this? Okay. What I like to do is at first I thought I was going to miss cable or dish or direct or whatever you want to call it because of my shows and, and whatnot. But I have found that most of your shows are now online. So what I do is I just close out of the Windows Media Player and I take our handy dandy little keyboard Chris showed you with the trackball on it and I just go to the internet and say for example I go to NBC.com. That has a lot of shows that we like to watch on it. So you just come over here and go to shows, and there's a list of all the current shows, like Chuck just started. Um, the only thing that I do find is sometimes with the shows, they're a day behind. So, for example, I like to watch Days of Our Lives. I can't watch Monday's episode till Tuesday. That's the only... I, I wouldn't even call it a downfall. It was It's just what it is, so at least you get to watch it the next day. Um, you got this, you know, the sing-off. There, there's all kinds of them on here. So you just do that. I haven't really checked out. I'm sure CBS and all the other ones have it too, but NBC is the one that I primarily watch. 
Um, really simple, so you just go into it, and most of them have their own page. You would just scroll down, and then over here is all the episodes. You just click watch episodes, and away you go. Um, they do have, what, 15, 30 second commercials every now and then, and it's the same one. But, you know. Still free. Yeah, still free. And also, in the morning, if I'm on the elliptical, I just put the uh, keyboard on the reading tray. Go to YouTube, and there you go. I can click on the music videos and work out at the same time. Mm -hmm. So. Alright, so that's our current setup, and uh, as far as our TV and media center go, we're completely satisfied with this decision, and um, I don't foresee us ever going back, at least not anytime soon. How about you? No, not at all. I don't miss paying that cable bill. Right. So, I mean, if it's something you guys thought about at some point, I'd say give it a shot. The antennas aren't that expensive. Uh, of course, the more you pay, the, probably the longer range you're going to get and everything, which might help, but depending on where you're at and what kind of signal you get, doesn't hurt to try it out.